Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how was your journey? <clears throat> how was your day today? Uh, I uh, also so. And you? Fine, fine. Okay. Uh, we already have uh, the the first two sessions, the first two lessons corrected. Yes. Yes, I already checked uh, 2.6 and it's already corrected. Okay, 2.6. Yes. Give me a second. You have to write it again and then send it in order for, for it to appear green. Okay. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. I am telling her that we have uh, the they already correct the, the mistakes I, I found in the platform. So if you have made 2.6 and it was wrong, you can go ahead and do it again and send it and it will appear correct. How was your day, Franklin? Yes, um, it, was, it was very busy, teacher. What do you do for a living? Um, I was uh, watching uh, videos about speaking grammar because I needed to practice speaking for my university. <laughs> okay. What do you study? Uh, licenciatura en idiomas. Ah, where? Eh, Universidad Católica del Salvador. UCA. Um, Unicaes. Ah, Unicaes, in Santa Ana. Yes. Okay. They Do have you know? a very good uh, uh, department, English department there. I was there in, in, a, in a kind of congress when I worked for UTEC. Really? Yes. Wow. Awesome. Um, I, I like the university. It's, it's very, very big and they have a good staff. Yeah. The students very, were very involved in the, in the Congress and I love that because then you may practice more. And welcome, Rodrigo, and welcome, Veronica. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> How was your day? Um, very nice day. <laughs> Good. And where are you from, Veronica? Are you from in San Salvador? San Salvador. In Cuscatancingo. In... Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. How is the, 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 
environment now there because it, it, it used to be one of the problematic areas. Well, now the class has started and I need to share the PPT. Well, uh, as always, the Inglés Corporativo, my name, uh, this is, uh, we, we haven't finished the lesson uh, yesterday, so we will finish today and we will start the other lesson. And as I told uh, the first ones, uh, they already correct the errors I told you I found in the in the platform. If you already have made the exercise 2.6, you may do it again and send it and now it will appear okay. I check it. Now, please repeat after me. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Speak, speak your, your truth. truth. Okay. Uh, in Spanish, we have some problems with S and with Z. We have to make the difference, uh, like the our uh, Z, nuestra Z. Uh, the, the, in in the case of truth. We have the TH that sounds like our Z, okay? But since we are not in use to use it in Spain, in, in, in El Salvador, we had that problem. And with the S, when it, it is at the beginning, we also have some problems there. And then we have to practice. Speak. Okay, speak. Repeat, please. Speak. 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 Your truth. Your, your truth. Your truth. 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 Quietly and clearly. Quietly and clearly. And, clearly. and listen to others. And listen, and listen to, to others. others. In this case, the TH is like a D. Sometimes it sounds like a D, sometimes it sounds like a Z. Okay? Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others. Okay. Even the do. Even the and the, do, and the ignorant, and the ignorant, ignorant, they too have their story. They, they too have, have their, their story. story. Their story. Okay. Let me see. Somebody was. Uh, William says that he has problems with the microphone. Uh, you may try not to use uh, speakers. Uh, uh, sorry, the the uh, the, uh, the handset and just speak directly to the computer. Maybe it works. Or try to fix it uh, in the application. 
if you cannot fix it, don't worry. Now, um, do you understand this, this piece of the Desiderata poem? Is with Stephanie and Franklin. Do you understand the the this piece? Uh, so so. Have you ever, have you ever yeah, listened to the Siderata in Spanish? Yes, it's too clear. Uh, okay. No, truth, truth is verdad, verdad. Truth. So, yeah. Tu verdad. Truth. Sí. Habla tu verdad, o sea, calmadamente y, clar y claramente. Y escucha a los otros. Ajá. Otros, ajá. Uh -huh. Incluso uh -huh. los torpes y los ignorantes también tienen su historia. Sí. Ah. Uh -huh. Ok. O sea, Eh, algunas veces la gente cree que sabe mucho y que hay otra gente que no merece prestarle atención. Yeah. Pero muchas veces eh, estamos equivocados al respecto. Porque incluso hay gente que hay gente adulta que, que no le gusta eh, hablar con los niños. Que le digan la verdad. No, ajá, que le digan la verdad de eso también, pero eh, hay, hay gente que no le gusta escuchar a los niños. Y ah, los, también. Los niños muchas veces dicen unas verdades que uno se queda con la boca abierta, ¿verdad? Entonces, we, we have to listen to others, the little ones, the older ones, eh, the ones that we think are ignorant, sometimes we learn a lot from them. Yes. Okay. Now, eh, nos habíamos quedado en el knowledge eh, check. Knowledge check. Sí, de el, el 1.12. Este... Eh, en ese ese estaba pendiente. Finished that. Lo terminaron. Yeah. Y lo yes, habíamos teacher. revisado. No 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 lo habíamos revisado. No. Ajá. O sea, sí les dije que lo hicieran, ¿verdad? Pero no lo habíamos revisado. Este... Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Before to continue, I make a question. What are the questions? Yes. Uh, of the point of view objective, what is the difference between can and should? What is the... Uh, can is an ability? Yeah, it's an ability. It's something that you can do or you cannot do. For example, okay. you can drive or you cannot drive. If you right. can drive, you can get a license. Okay. That lets you uh, but, drive. Sorry, sorry, but... But it, should uh -huh. is something that you have to do. <laughs> For example, if you want to drive in El Salvador, you have to get a license and you have to learn to drive. Yes, but I can drive or I should drive. Okay. Well, uh, if you already can drive and somebody cannot drive, you should drive for him or for her. All right. Okay. For example, if you go with your friends and uh, you go to, to, to have a drinks and all that. And uh, you know about the designated driver? Uh -huh. Supposedly the designated driver shouldn't drink because he's the one that will drive. He should drive. And he cannot okay. 
or he shouldn't drink. Okay. Okay. We so can say it, that. Can, can is an ability. And should can is, ability. is a, an obligation. An obligation. Uh -huh. Okay. For example, uh, you can uh, drink poison or you shown uh, you should uh, you shouldn't drink you shouldn't, you shouldn't drink potions everybody that's can drink your potion but yeah. you shouldn't yeah okay because that's, you that's have the right. ability to get it to your mouth and to throw it okay, okay. but you shouldn't okay uh -huh. okay it's clear okay thank you okay. you're welcome now, uh, let's check. Uh, complete the these conversations using can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Uh, I decide where to go on my vacation. Now, please repeat. I. 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 Can't, I can, can, decide, can decide, decide where to go on my vacation. Where to go on my vacation. Where to go no, no, on my no, no, vacation. No vaca. Bay. Vacation. Vacation. Uh -huh. Vacation. Yes, it's like, it's like with the alphabet A, B, C. I can decide Here where to go on my vacation. vacation. No vaca. Okay. Vacation. Vaca vacation. is for, for, for us in El Salvador, for us in Spanish, but in English is bay, vacation. Okay? Vacation. 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 Now, uh, you should go to India. You should, you should go, go to India. You should go to India. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. You should go to India. You should go to you India. Should go to you should India. go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. It's my favorite place to visit. Okay. Now, next. I'm planning to go to Bogota. <laughs> Okay. Where do you think I should go? When do you when think I should, should, should go? You should go anytime. You, you should go, go anytime. anytime. The weather is nice all year. The weather, the weather is, is nice, nice all, year. all year. In this case, you may write also can because it's an ability. Okay, you can or you should. But since they ask should, you answer should. So normally, you answer with the with the word that they ask you. O sea, normalmente usted contesta con la palabra que le, que le preguntan. Ok. Now. Uh, number three. Should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? Should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? Should I rent a car? Should I, I rent, rent a car? I rent a car. When I arrive in Cairo? When, when I, arrive I, I arrive in Cairo? In Cairo. What, do you recommend? What, do you what do you recommend? 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 Okay. No. No, 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 you should definitely use the subway. 
You, you should definitely the subway. The subway. The subway. It's fast and efficient. It's fast and efficient. Efficient. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Bangkok. Jewelry. 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 Come on, come Jewelry. 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 Okay. Yes, it's very difficult. Jewelry. Jewelry. In bank. Jewelry. You have to you have to roll your your tongue. Jewelry. 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 Where can I get some jewelry in Bangkok? Where can Where I get some nice jewelry, jewelry in Bangkok? Okay. You shouldn't miss. You shouldn't, you shouldn't miss. miss. You shouldn't miss. You shouldn't miss the weekend the week market. market. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bear guys. Bergains. Bergains. It's the best Bear place games. for Bergains. It's the best place for Bergains. Las Bergains son como como que como cuando decimos también que algo está en cel. O sea, cuando las cosas están al precio más, más bajo, entonces son eh, los precios más bajos, o sea, son los bear gains. Eh, what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? 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 You can see all Paris. You can see all Paris. Paris. But but in bad weather you can't see anything. In bad weather you can't see anything. Okay. Um, what's next? Okay. Now we already made the knowledge check and uh, here. Norma de Leon, please read the lesson objective. Okay, in this session participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can't and show them to sound natural when speaking. Okay, uh, Vicky Martinez, please. Yes, teacher. The same. Okay. In this session, participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can and children to sound natural when speaking. Okay. And in the PPT, I already uh, put the pronunciation thing. Okay. So, um, Hilda Alvarado. Uh, read it. Okay. Uh, pronunciation, can and children. 
instruction, listen, and practice this statement. Notice how the T in can and children is not strongly pronounced. It does not pronounce Repeat the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay. Now, uh, I put the, the, the uh, I hope that we can listen it, put it here. If you notice, I write it down and I also put here. Can you see this? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Then you can you can uh, click here and you will listen to. Please listen, and then we will be listening and repeating. Okay. Para Okay, now listen and repeat, okay? Pronunciation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sunday. Repeat. You can you go can shopping, go shopping, on, shopping on, on Sundays. Okay. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. Pronunciation. Wait, 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 wait. Es que se me pierde la... Can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. Se pierde esta cosa. Ahí está. Shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't swim at the beach. Okay. Sorry, but uh, when you get this, uh, you, you may do it easily in, in your computer. Here, uh, the Zoom interferes well now we finish with uh, lesson one and we started lesson two um, Lilian Guevara could you read the lesson objective please sure lesson objective in this session, you will learn vocabulary for common health problems, as well as listen to conversation where these new words will be practiced. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Sergio Lopez. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey. In this session, mobile birth, can and should, will be introduced in a conversation. Uh -huh. Now, uh, please repeat after me. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. An ear ache. An, an, an ear ache. 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 Ear ache. Ear ache. Si se fijan, ahí dice H. Pero eso se pronuncia ache. 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 Donde dice H. Ache. O sea, A, C, H, E. Donde dice H. Entonces, eso se pronuncia ache. Entonces, eh, eso significa dolor. 
Entonces, por ejemplo, backache, dolor de espalda. Earache, dolor de oído. Dolor de oído. Ok. Now, a broken leg. A broken, a broken leg. leg. A sore throat. A sore throat. A headache. A headache. A, headache. a, headache. a cold. A cold. A cold. A fever. A fever. A cough. A cough. A, a toothache. A toothache. A stomachache. A stomachache. Eh, ahí dice the muscles. Y the muscle. los, eh, el otro no lo puedo leer, pero me imagino que es the flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. Ok. Now, eh, any doubts about this, eh, this problem? ¿Alguna duda sobre estos problemas de, de salud? No. ¿No? ¿Los entendieron? Ok. Eh, esto le van a servir más adelante porque ustedes tienen que escribir ahí donde está el, el eh, ¿cómo se llama? La discussion del, del video. Ustedes tienen que escribir sobre health problems. Entonces, eh, además de los que ya están ahí en, en el video, pueden utilizar estos que se los voy a mandar en el PPT. Ok. Ok. Now, this is the vocabulary for the class uh, that is in the platform. Now, repeat after me. A headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. headache. A back a headache. headache. A back ache. A back ache. A back ache. A back ache. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. 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 O sea que la C no suena. Muscles. 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 Tampoco la E no suena. No suena la C y no suena la E. O sea, solo es como la, la S, L, S. Muscles. Muscles. Excelente. Muscles. 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 Así que eso de muscle es, es como cuando usted ha hecho ejercicio y le quedan adoloridos los músculos. O cuando usted hizo un mal movimiento y le quedan adoloridos. O cuando usted durmió mal y, y amanece de que no puede ni dar eh, la vuelta con la, con la, en el cuello. Entonces eso es sore muscles. Muscles. Ok. Stomachache. 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 Si se fijan, ahí están como en desorden los, los, los dibujos. ¿Verdad? Porque usted tiene que saber qué es eh, de acuerdo a, a lo, al vocabulario. Entonces, el, el headache es donde está el hombre ahí deteniéndose la cabeza, que le duele la cabeza. Backache es donde está el dolor ahí que se mira en rojo, que le duele la espalda. Y los sore muscles también son todos los músculos que le están doliendo en todo el cuerpo a esas personas. Y el, el stomachache, que es el muchacho ese que se está deteniendo ahí en la panza. Now, a cold. A cold. A cold. A cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. The flu. The, The flu. flu. The flu. Insomnia. 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 No sé ustedes, pero en esta época de, de pandemia, a, a mí me ha dado algo de eso. Porque he estado pendiente de los twitters a las dos de la madrugada de nuestro querido presidente. No puede tutear más temprano. Bien. Dígame. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Entre Ahorita se los iba a, a decir. Cold a cold and and cough. Ah, no. Eh, bueno, a cold es cuando usted está como que se le está con sneezy. Resfriado. O sea, es un resfriado, sí, que, se, que, que le, como que le baja líquido por la nariz y está, con, con, está con estornudos y cosas así. En uh -huh. cambio, el cough es una tos. 
Ah, ok. ¿verdad? Y si esto seca, probable es COVID. <risa> ah, <risa> lol. Eh, este, en cambio, con the flu, eh, con, un, con un resfriado usted no se muere. Con la influencia usted se puede morir. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad? O sea... Que la influencia es como, como un, un tipo de gripe, pero mucho más fuerte y tiene otras cosas este, que, 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 que dañan los pulmones y dañan eh, diferentes. O sea, usted se puede morir de la influencia y por eso es que hay una vacuna para la influencia. ¿Verdad? En cambio, para el catarro no hay cura para el catarro, para la gripe. La única cura para la gripe es el tiempo, tomar suficientes líquidos, pero eh, hay medicina para los, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Los síntomas, pero no le están curando el resfriado. O sea, siempre va a durar lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo por eso prefiero no tomar nada para el resfriado y dejar que mi, que mi sistema inmune sea el que, el que lo trate, porque... Hay mucha gente que, que toma amoxicilina y cosas así. Y, y lo que hacen es hacer más resistente después los virus a, 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 a los tratamientos. Entonces es mejor dejar que el, el, el mismo tiempo lo ocurre a uno. Y tomar suficiente agua. Bien. Uh, ¿Any other question about the vocabulary? No, no it's clear. All is clear. Okay. Now, in this session, you will listen to a conversation where common health problems are mentioned using indefinite complements. Uh, Daniel Ocampo, please read it. Yes. In this session, uh, you will listen to a conversation where common health problems are mentioned using infinity complements. Okay. Now, uh, two volunteers, one male and one female. Conversation mm -hmm. health problems. Uh huh. Hi, Kai. How are no, you? Uh, uh, Joan is the woman and Craig oh. is the man. Uh, first okay. the woman. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. Uh, have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to get girly soap. Girly soap. Just, just chop, chop up a whole head of garlic and cook. cook. Eating a chicken stew, try it. It really works. Yuck, that sounds awful. You, you have to be more like Jack. Jack, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, please listen to this, everybody. Listen. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Hay gente que no le gusta el, el, el ajo y hay gente que no le gusta la cebolla. Pero eh, justo el ajo y la cebolla son de los mejores este, en contra de los virus. Es más, se comprobó durante la peste negra que la gente que colgaba ajos y cebollas cerca ahí de la casa, eh, o sea, dentro de la casa, 
eh, se libraban más fácil de la, de la enfermedad. Por, por supuesto que esas cosas no se las comían, sino que cuando ya se miran todas feas, todas negras, se botan. Porque ahí está como concentrada todo lo... Es bueno comer cebolla y ajo. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Eh, what what's mean este chicken stock? Eh, o sea, eh, como una base de, de, de pollo. De pollo, como quien dice, en sopa de pollo. Ah. O sea, poner además del ajo, agregarlo con pollo, como para que no se coma solo el ajo. Oh, ok. Ajá. No. Ok. Eh, um, eh, ahora, uh, uh, other two volunteers. Other two volunteers. Me teacher. Yes. Go ahead. Este, los que los que no van a estar participando me ponen en su en sus micrófonos por favor los que no van a estar participando excelente now go ahead uh, first a woman and then a man okay who will help Volunteer. He woman. Yes, a woman. First. Okay. Uh, hi, Gray. How are you? Not so good. I have terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything? For, for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to huh? eat garlic soup. Just chop wood a bowl, heat of, of garlic and cook huh? it in a uh -huh. chicken stock. Try it, it really works. <laughs> Jack, that sounds awful. Okay. Now, uh, someone else wants to participate? Someone else wants to practice? What about Lilian and Roberto Vendaño? Okay. Okay. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad? You should at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of breath. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken any, anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. Estos mis, estos mis hombres son bien poco, este, ¿cómo se llama? Um, expresivos. Tienen que decir así, Jack. Así, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. You did it well. I, I'm just kidding. Okay. Now, um, Sergio Lopez, could you read a lesson objective? Okay, teacher. Lesson objective. In this session, infinity complements will be twelve. Infinity complements are used to ask <coughs> and get advice example what should i do for a cool it's a good idea to take some 
vitamin C. Okay, it's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Repeat, please. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Excellent, thank you. Now, infinitive complement. Um, repeat after me. Infinitive complements. Infinitive complements. What should you do? What should, what should you do? You do. What a should you do? What should you do? For a call. For a call. For a call. For a call. What for a call. you should do for a call. What should you do for a call? What should you do for a call? Do for a call. For a call. It's important. It's important, it's important, important, important to get a lot of rest. It's to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. To eat garlic soup. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. To take some vitamin C. To take some vitamin C. Okay. Uh, do you have any other remedies for a cold? Tienen algún otro tipo de remedios para un resfriado? Té de manzanilla, ticho. Yes. It is camomilla tea. Repeat, please. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Limón con limón con miel. Yeah. Eh, lemon and honey. Lemon with honey. Lemon you collected honey. Uh -huh. You collected yes. And the first one is chamomilla tea. Repeat, please. Chamomilla tea. Chamomilla tea. Así se dice manzanilla. Camomila. Se escribe C-H-A, o sea, cha, eh, M-O-M-I-L-L-A, camomila, T. Camomila, T. Camomila. Teacher, with the pronunciation for the word vitamin, Eh, norma 6, eucalypto fumes. Okay, eh, you know eh, what is a fume? O sea, son va vapores. Vapores, vapores ah, de eucalipto. Vapores de eucalipto, sí, suena bien también. ¿Y saben cómo se también hace También jengibre de, con de, limón y miel. Si usted no tiene vaporizador, usted puede improvisar. Se pone en una ollita lo que sea que usted necesite para vaporizar. Y cuando ya está hirviendo y usted mira que está saliendo el, el vapor, usted pone eso, digamos, en una mesita, agarra una toalla y entonces y, y envuelve eso con, con, con usted adentro, tratando de yeah. que no le dé directo porque se puede quemar, ¿verdad? Sino que eh, a que esté encerrado usted con el vapor, ¿verdad? Pero que no le vaya a caer directo. Ya conforme va bajando el calor, entonces sí, ya se puede acercar más. Pero eso es para, para que eh, tanto por la nariz como por la boca, usted absorba los vapores. Es muy bueno. Esos vapores son muy buenos para curar los bronquios. ¿Verdad? Y es muchas veces mejor que tomar medicina, porque algunas veces la medicina lo que hace es que le cristaliza, eh, ¿cómo se llama?, le cristaliza los, las, la mucosidad adentro. Entonces ya usted ya no lo puede expulsar. Entonces, en cambio con los vapores, uh, with the fume, you, 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 you can eh, take it out. O sea, las puedes sacar, mm -hmm. which is better. Exacto. Eh, eh, 
vitamin is it uh, could be vitamin or vitamin okay vitamin uh-huh but vitamin is for british yes yes and that's why i say for... vitamin or vitamin both I, I like to say both because sometimes you may cross with a british uh, speaker and, and if you don't know uh, the pronunciation, you may get confused, okay? okay. So it's better Thank to you, know teacher. both. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And uh, I, we have a, a special tea in, in my family. We made it with chamomilla. Um, Uh, pepper, uh, but but the 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 big the 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 ball the pepper. Uh, lo, lo que llamamos de pimienta gruesa. Oh, pepper, yes. uh, cloves, o sea, son los clavos de olor. Cloves. Yes. Uh, cinnamon sticks. Uh, we also put some um, the flowers are um, bougainvillea. Do you know what is the bougainvillea? Es la que no, llamamos sure. la veranera, pero la que tiene un color eh, eh, rosado así maravilla. Esa es la bougainvillea. Esa es buenísima para la, para la gripe, la flor. La flor es rosado maravilla. Porque veraneras hay de diferentes colores. Pero la bugambilia es esa rosado maravilla. Y, y, y es buenísima para, para, para la gripe. And if you can, when, when you put it to boil, and then eh, when you finish, you serve it, you may do the, the fume thing with the towel, and then when it, it is not too hot, you may add uh, honey and a lemon and drink it. it este, les digo que se deja enfriar antes de echarle eh, la miel, porque la miel, si está a más de 40 grados, Es, es poison. Entonces, por eso se debe de echar la miel hasta que ya, ya no está tan caliente el té. Por si no se los habían dicho. Busquen en Google. Es eh, la, la, la miel de abeja, si está a más de 40 grados, se convierte en veneno. Oh. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, porque hay mucha gente que a todo, miel, 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 ¿verdad? Entonces, pero, pero hay que dejar que las cosas no estén tan calientes para echarle la miel. Por eso, no sé si se han dado cuenta ustedes de que eh, prohíben la miel para niños de menos de un año. Porque también puede crear alergias. Now, I don't like honey. A mí sí me gusta. Y, y es mucho más saludable que el azúcar. It's better than sugar because sugar is, it has too much chemicals. And honey is something natural. Yes, but I don't like it. Because el olor no me gusta. Ni el ah. sabor. <laughs> well, it, it, it is, it is the, the, the bees saliva. <laughs> That's yeah. why it, it smells that way. <laughs> now, uh, infinitive. 
is when when we use the verb without conjugation okay we we tend to conjugate uh, the verbs in present future past okay o sea, se conjuga el verbo presente, pasado, futuro, and there are others. And we also have a, a different uh, type for third person singular, uh, which is the agreement of the verb. When you add an S or ES after the verb for third person singular in present. O sea, para el, el, el tercera persona del singular se cambia el, el agreement del verbo. Pero cuando estamos ocupando un verbo en infinitivo, no nos tenemos que preocupar por la, por la conjugación, porque es lo que en español equivale al ar, er, ir. O sea, es el verbo en su forma infinitiva, o sea, sin conjugar. Entonces, para eso se ocupa el to plus the verb. Entonces, y lo ocupamos algunas veces para dar sugerencias y para dar consejos. Entonces, por ejemplo, it's helpful to go to the doctor. ¿Verdad? To go. Ahí está el verbo en infinitivo. It's important to drink lots of water. Ahí eh, me, me corrigió esto, me le puso tilde, no tiene que ir con tilde. It's important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, eso es lo de el infinitive. ¿Alguna Teacher. consulta sobre el infinitivo? Yes, teacher. Bueno, uh, what mean cow drops? Cough drops. Son este, gotas para la tos. Ok, thanks. Uh -huh. Puede ser también un, un, un jarabe para la tos. ¿Verdad? Cough drops. Another question? Uh, I congratulate uh, most of you are working with the, with the uh, discussion box after the, the, the videos. Now I found that I can correct them there. I, I can answer to your comment. So I, I will answer to all of them in order to correct them in, in the platform. So the ones that are working there uh, during this weekend, I will be correcting it so you can see uh, what are your errors and try to correct them in your notebook, okay? okay. You may correct it in the platform as well, but uh, what, I, what I want is that you know how to do it right, okay? And we have the other knowledge check. Este, vayan a su plataforma, por favor. Y estamos en este. 2.6. Este era el que estaba malo, ¿se acuerdan? O miren, ya parece bien. Entonces, este, ya, ya se puede hacer. Los que no lo han hecho, háganlo ahorita. Y los que ya lo tienen, eh, esperemos un ratito para que todos lo, lo comprobemos.
Han estado revisando los PPT. Teacher, eh, ¿a dónde puedo ver los TPT? Eh, no estás en el WhatsApp Group. Sí, ahora, ahora me uní al WhatsApp Group. Ah, lo que pasa es que como te uniste hoy, eh, este, y esos los puse antes, ¿lo voy a volver a poner para que los okay, tengas? Teacher. Ok, teacher. Ok, thanks. Ok. Eso es lo malo de WhatsApp, que uno sube las cosas y el que se va inscribiendo no, no los puede ver antes. En cambio, hay, hay otra aplicación que me invitaron la vez pasada. No me acuerdo cómo se llama. Eh, ¿Quién es? Pero, teacher, sí, creo sí que se es pueden ver Telegram. Anteriores. Esa, Telegram. O sea, uh -huh. no importa que usted se, 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 se... Usted puede ver todo lo que ocurrió desde que fue creado el grupo. Yes. Y está bueno que le hagan la competencia al WhatsApp porque se está poniendo de turbio. <risa> yes. <risa> Bueno, ¿ya hay algunos que ya lo tengan los primeros? Sí. Ok, uh, please read number one, any volunteer? I am asking for volunteers because I don't know who has it. And me. Okay. What should I do for a sore throat? Mm -hmm. It's important to take some vitamin C. Okay. No me fijé que también aquí hay un problemita. Es sore, tiene que ser S-O-R-E. S-O-R-E. Ajá, sí. No, pero el problema es de la plataforma. Yo, yo. Cuando revisé no me fijé en eso, solo me fijé en la, en la, en la, en la, en la respuesta. Uh -huh. Now, uh, someone else, number two. Me, teacher. Okay. What should I do for a fever? It's, it's a good idea to drink lots of liquids. Great. Now, someone else for number three. Me, teacher. Yes. Okay. okay. What should I do for a burn? Is sometimes helpful to put some ointment on it. Okay. If you notice here, the answer should be put on. But if you can see, it is a two-word verb. O sea, es un, un, un verbo con, con dos palabras. Una es el verbo y el otro es una, una, una preposición, que sería en este caso on, pero es separable, o sea, puede ser separada. Entonces, como ya estaba en el complemento, entonces no se pone a la hora de, de, de escribirse la respuesta. Entonces, ah, okay. Está en el complemento ahí, en lo que está entre paréntesis. Entonces, ahí ah, está okay. el on, si se fijan, ahí está el on. Entonces, o sea, que cuando... si hubiera sido la respuesta original, hubiera sido put on. on. To put ah, okay. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Pero Thank como you. es que se puede separar, entonces este el on se lo dejaron después del ointment. Ah, Está como okay. cuando decimos eh, encender una computadora. Tú puedes decir turn on the computer o puedes decir to turn the computer on. Y, okay. y está bien, porque es separable. Se lo puedes separar. I understand. Okay. Thank you. Ok. Now, the next, uh, number four. Me, teacher? Yes. Okay. What should I do for a toothache? Toothache. Toothache. Is it important to go to a dentist? Ajá. Si se fijan aquí, este no se pudo separar, entonces se tuvo que poner ahí. To go to. O sea, go to, va el verbo y va el, 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 la, la preposición. Y esta no es separado, o sea, no se puede separar, entonces tiene que ir en la respuesta. ¿Verdad? Eh, teacher, teacher, solo es para respuestas así de, 
de medicina o en todo caso tendría que ir así en otra respuesta? No, siempre que te refieres a algo, algo tiene que decir teacher. hacia dónde, o sea, go to. Teacher, mm. teacher, uh -huh. sí. teacher, dígame. Teacher, eh, ¿Sí? eh, a mí, yo tira, me tira una respuesta distinta, yo puse to see a dentist. Y te lo tomó bien. Sí, yes. Ay, lo puede, ser que haya sido, puede ser que hayan sido ambas respuestas. Es que yo puse tu go, pero no, no me salía malo. Y después puse tu sí y sí me salió correcto. Porque tal Ajá, vez igual tú puse tu go sin ponerle el tú. O sea, es tu sí o tu sí. Podían ser ambas puse... respuestas. Tal vez solo pusiste Ajá. tu go sin poner el otro tú. Ah, o sea que había que poner tu go tú. Sí, si te fijas aquí, me lo parece que está bueno. Ah, ok. Ajá. Idea. Entonces, eh, the, the last one, y ya terminamos. Mi okay, teacher. Mi teacher. Okay. What should I do for a cough? It's a good idea to take some medicine. A cough. A cough. A cough. Uh -huh. It's a good idea to take some medicine. Yes, uh, someone else, uh, alguien me quería preguntar algo? No? No. Okay. See you tomorrow then. And tomorrow is See the you last tomorrow, class teacher. for, for yes. the week. And then you will have a nice weekend. See you. Hey, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.